You know, I think it's kind of crazy that uh, it's been 12 years since this was, like, relevant in society. It makes me feel so old, but then I realize I actually am finally starting to grow up, you know, age-wise, mentality-wise. I'm still a two-year-old, and you can't tell me otherwise. But this device that is sitting right in front of me is an iPod Touch, and this is like a fifth gen. This used to be the talk of school. Like, if you had an iPod, you were the coolest kid in cool, like in the school. If you had an iPod, you were just cool in general. And I think that's so crazy that 12 years later, this device still has a place in so many people my age, like, in their hearts. This is, like, my childhood in a nutshell, is this little Apple product from 2012. Now, that's not to say that newer ones didn't come out, but the only one that I still own is this 5th gen iPod, because I do believe that I had a 6th gen a, like a long time ago, but I broke that one. This one, however, has been with me the whole time, and it's never been in a case. I just guess I, I, guess I just took care of my stuff, because it doesn't look to be in too bad of condition. But let's just like sit here and marvel at this for a second, and just like think that this used to be top of the line in terms of Apple products. Like... The chipset and the amount of RAM in this device is kind of laughable, even for then. But people still loved it, and it got an intense amount of software support from Apple. Which, depending on who you ask, could be a blessing and an absolute curse. It's literally a curse. Like, I'm gonna be so honest with you. This device from 2012 has Apple's A5 chipset, which is like their full first dual-core chipset, chipset and all. God, I can't even talk. Um, that's cool and all. But it's paired with 512 megs of RAM. I want you to take that in. My my toaster has more RAM than this iPod. I think that's so crazy. Because this iPod received iOS updates from iOS 6 all the way to iOS 9. Like, just think about that for a second. 6, 7, 8, and 9. This device received four years of software updates. The iPhone 5S used to hold the record in phones until the iPhone SE first generation and 6S and 7, like, surpassed it. Well, technically the 7 did, but the, you know what I mean. This is only a year behind the iPhone 5 and two years behind the 5S, but this device stayed relevant for too damn long. Like, I'm being so serious. If you own an iPod Touch from 2012 and you still have it, I want you to just, like, turn it on and just, like, try to use it. It is an absolute nightmare. But since I found this, I've been meaning to, like, get into the jailbreaking community. And this is the only device that I currently own that I even feel like I wouldn't care if I bricked it or something if I tried jailbreaking. So, that being said, having found this today and making this short little YouTube video, this is actually my very first YouTube video, by the way. I can't tell if you can, I can't tell if you can tell that this is my first YouTube video ever. Um, you probably can, and I don't fault you for that because it, it's kind of obvious. Eventually, I might get like a professional setup, but this is mostly, for me, a hobby. So what I, I'm going to explain real quick. This is going to be like the tutorial video slash iPod Touch 5th generation video. So what I plan on doing with this YouTube channel, and stick with me for a sec, is I plan on just taking a look at all the old technology that I own. I am, I'm what you call young but old. Like I'm getting to the point where I'm going to be old, but I'm still young. <laughs> if that makes sense to you, then congrats. You can join me somewhere but what i'm trying to say is i'm young enough that i'm not an adult but i'm old enough to have like a ton of retro technology that's considered retro at this point in time anyways think about it this was mine from when i was a kid and this is 12 years old meaning that i am old enough to have owned this for 12 years <laughs> and that's kind of boggling my brain in the wrong way but either way, what I plan on doing with this YouTube channel is just taking a look at, like, a whole bunch of old technology that I own. And just kind of giving you guys, like, the perspective of someone who grew up with it 
but is still very much a young adult. Like, I am a young adult. So, yes, I am old, but I'm young. And that's crazy to me that this device is more than half of my age. And I can't even begin to explain how much of an impact this device had on me. I mean, I can just remember being a kid, being like a, like an eight-year-old kid, like a six or seven or eight-year-old kid, just iMessaging my cousins whenever we were going to go to like a family gathering and just like having good old conversations. And I remember playing video games and listening to music and losing my earbuds all the time. And just like, you know, it's funny because this was my first Apple product ever. Like, this iPod right here started my journey into becoming an, like becoming part of the Apple ecosystem. If you haven't heard of the ecosystem, then I don't really know what to say. I don't really think I can explain that in my current state. But what I'm trying to say is this device is what got me on the path to buy more Apple products in the future. Which is kind of ironic because this is one of the worst Apple products to use today. And uh, hopefully in my next vid, you guys will kind of... I don't know, understand the pain, the pure, unrivaled pain it is to use this device here in 2023. So I'm looking at this device with 2020, with 2023 like mindset. So when I look at this and I see the specs, dual core chipset, 32 bit, uh, 512 megs of RAM and 16 gigabytes of storage. The only thing that can even somewhat be redeemable is the storage capacity. Because I can't even imagine having an 8 gigabyte device in 2023. Like, it's just unheard of. It's unbelievable. And it's just kind of crazy, you know? Um, I just kind of... I like to think about it for a second. But, like, that is what I planned. So, anyways, guys. Thank you for tuning in to this video, if you did. So, this was my look at my old iPod. Telling you guys my plans for the future. And hopefully improving the whole YouTube thing. This is literally like me just trying to express my hobby in a way that can, you know, get me out there and show people like what I enjoy doing and how I enjoy doing it, which I know a lot of people might not be interested in, but a lot of people I'm guessing might be interested in a lot of this old technology that I own and might be interested in about learning the history because eventually I will be doing comprehensive looks at the history of these devices because I do know I have quite the little stash of random factoids about these products so hopefully after you know some time of getting used to being in the YouTube space I can eventually create like comprehensive I don't know documentaries in a way of the history of these devices and how they impacted society and you know the tech world in general like these big companies like apple and samsung like they have been here since the beginning of our modern way of technology like they pioneered it like this was actually one of the last ipods that steve jobs ever even had input on and steve jobs is like a huge inspiration for me but um hopefully like i said hopefully i can get more uh, I don't know, adapted and used to the YouTube space, and my video quality content can only improve from here. Like, this was literally a fling. This is me taking a look at a device that I've owned my whole life and that I know a lot of stuff about. So I would just like to express that in a way that I can by showing you and just explaining the impact this device had on me, the tech world, you know, just basic stuff. Anyways, thank you for listening, if you did. If you got this far, kudos to you, man, because this is a struggle. I struggle talking to people in real life, let alone to a phone. That There's no one around me. It's kind of weird doing commentary like this, like talking. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for like showing any sort of interest in my hobby, and hopefully... If you did watch this video, I will see you again in the future as I start to get more and more in-depth with my content. Anyways, geez, anyways, thank you guys so much, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.